Guys, come on, she's gonna be here any second. <sighs> really? Uh, oh, I'm so glad you made it. Thanks for driving. Ah, oh, and you brought people. Great. You're so funny. This is Dwayne. Pleasure. Hey, Dom. I uh, brought a shitload of beer. <laughs> Charming. Feel free to call me Dominic. And you are? Sarah. Hey, I'm friends with your exchange student, Mariko. Well, isn't that something? I hope the couple miles from the parking lot weren't too inconvenient for you. Oh yeah, man, I didn't even park there. Just drove right around that gate, went halfway up the logging road before the trail got too small. Well, that's a law broken. <laughs> Pick that up before you come inside, please. Ilsa, may I speak with you in the kitchen for a moment? That hurts. What? Oh, nothing. Except that you invited two strangers without asking me first. It was supposed to be you, me, and my exchange students. I don't have enough brie and shit. <laughs> they are not strangers. Dwayne's kind of my boyfriend. And Sarah knows Mariko from the SAT course. I thought you and Sarah might... Ilsa, she smokes. So? And he's like 45. Where the fuck do you find these people? I swear to God, you never should have left private school. He's 23. You always do this, as long as I've known you. And I know that one day, you're gonna have to discern the people you can trust from the people you just can't. Dominic, I'm sorry. I didn't know you expected me to come alone. But we graduated, and this may be the last chance all my friends get to be together. I didn't want to leave anyone out. Fuck. Fine. It's fine. The weekend can still go according to plan. I mean, what, what's two more people after all? Marcus. Hey, Dom. How are you? And you brought rumor. It's like I never even graduated. Please, come in.
Marcus, rumor, everyone, meet each other, make yourselves at home. I need to go set up the loft I wasn't planning on using. Marcus, I wasn't sure you'd come. Thanks for inviting me. Totally, thanks, Ilsa. Hey, hey, rumor, don't touch any of my dad's shit. Sorry, please. Be good to get some you and me time. Hey. Uh, Marcus Dwayne. Marcus went to my old school before I transferred. Yeah, yeah, Marcus from private school. I've heard a lot about you, man. Ilsa talks about you all the time. <laughs> I've heard a bunch about you, too. How do you know Ilsa again? I'm her boyfriend. Right. Well, good to meet you, Dwayne. Yeah, yeah, man, likewise. God, you look great, Marcus. And you are miraculous. How's your novella coming? Oh my god, I finished the first draft. <laughs> the fuck's a novella? You haven't read Ilsa's writing? Sounds like he hasn't read much at all. <laughs> you have got to read her stuff, man. This girl is really good. Sylvia Plath meets Henry Miller. Shut up. The short story about the clown's mouth, so good. Better than good. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> Made me blush. Well, babe, we better go choose our bedroom and uh, start unpacking. Nope. Just squat anywhere you like. Marcus and Rumor, you're in the loft. Great, I really appreciate it, Dominic. Uh, there are three beds up there, right? Yeah, but why do you need three beds? Oh, well, uh, Eli came up with us. He trailed back to smoke some pot. Eli Dakota, Eli Dakota? That drug addict is staying in my father's cabin. You guys know my dad is the police commissioner, right? I brought acid. And a shovel, why is that? Well, when Marcus said cabin, I thought I'd have to dig holes to shit in. This place is a mansion, dude. Right. So dig zero shitholes. Like one shithole is too many shitholes. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Buck. It just encourages them. Why does it bother you so much? Just ignore it. I'm not bothered by it. It's just lame to use this as a prop in their sex play. They know we know what they're doing, don't you think? Oh, I see. What? Don't play dumb. I can smell you getting all wet from here. <laughs> Ew, Sarah. No? <laughs> Must be Marcus's pussy I smell. <laughs> Marcus, am I weird? No. I mean, I'm not like embarrassing you or anything, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I was only invited because you were invited. Okay, so? High school's over, rumor. You gotta let it go, you know? Look at this place. It's gonna be a good weekend. I just, these guys always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Look, I want you here. I want you here. Nobody's gonna cast you out. All right, all right, all right, all right. How about Marcus though, right? Should I even be worried about that fucking pretty boy? 
Marcus is the best. You got no worries around him. He's a stand-up guy. Everyone loves him. Yeah, I bet. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, what about like him and Elsa? Right? Oh no, yeah, you should totally worry about them. Yeah, no, they're like perfect for each other. Yeah, sorry, I misunderstood you. No, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. Thanks. Cool, cool. Beats and rhymes 24 7 all time off and I go back and reflect though living like Mr. Window giving my all for what I was most into a sacrifice to rock mics and most of my folks said I must have lost my damn mind cause my grind is not like yours gorilla tours and mixtapes laid the foundation we ground break Eli, you okay? Take a look at that goose. What? That goose out there. It's been there all day. I don't see a goose. It was there before and there's no such thing as time. I don't know about you, but I don't feel very safe. Glad you could make it. Did someone else agree to cover your shift, or? Oh no, not really. My boss said cover the dates or you're fired. <laughs> Do you quit <laughs> just to come here? Yeah. <laughs> I figured it was my last chance to see you, Marcus. I. No, no, no I know. I know you're with this other guy, but I just... No, listen, I randomly hooked up with Dwayne at a party and brought him here as a shield against Dominic. He's not. I mean... You're the one. I... Come back inside soon, okay? I, um, yes. Fuck! I'm drunk. 
Yeah. yeah. Beer and vodka will do that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's my drink, bud. The Vod Lager. <laughs> what? You're comical with your Vod Lagers and your high school girls. Oh, hey. A toast. I would like to apologize for my churlish behavior earlier. It's going to be a great weekend, and I'm glad you're all here. Thanks, Dominic. Dominic, this place is paradise. So, then did all y'all go to high school with Ilsa? Yep, at Lakeside. It's fancy. So then, does that mean that you're all going to Harvard with Ilsa and the Tokyo Twins? I'm number three on the wait list, actually. Yeah, my parents are pissed. I'm number nine. <laughs> well, that's a wake-up call. But it's, it's nice, you know? All of us getting together like this before heading off to school. Yes, true. Thanks, Dom. Thanks, Dominic. Fuck you guys. I'll kick your asses right out of here, I swear to God. <laughs> wow. I don't know nobody that I went to high school with now that that's over. They're all dead. You say they're dead? What? All your friends are dead? They're off live. Whatever. Dead to you. Yeah. Yes, man. Eli gets it. Thank you, dude. Now. Have you tried all the eyes? I pod, I phone, I pad, I. I feel like I should be offended. Oh, I just remembered. I got an old PlayStation upstairs in the master bedroom. PlayStation? Is it a three? Not two, but I got Vice City. No, a zombie bot. Always in video games, I swear. We could play a game, like a non video game. Oh yeah? Like what? We could play Dead Body. No video game. For real, my foot is down. Baby, it's a PS2. They don't even make those anymore. No, D Dead Body's not a video game. It's, it's like an old parlor game. Lame. Seriously. No, come on, it sounds like fun. Okay, so what do we do? Rules. Okay, one of us is secretly the killer. And um, after I count to three and hit the lights, everyone hides. Once a minute passes, um, the murderer sneaks around, and if he or she pinches you, you're out. And if you find the victim, you call out, dead body. Or the murderer could call it out and play innocent. And then we all regroup and argue about who we think the killer is. Get it? You guys, I'm surprised to be intrigued. What happens if you falsely accuse someone? You're dead. You're out. You know what, it's perfect. I'm into it. Rumor, don't touch me though, seriously. That's what I'm talking about. Beats PlayStation, right? The countdown starts once I turn the light off. After that, watch your backs. One, two, three. Uh, 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 no following. Come on, Elsa. That's what the killer would say. <laughs> Did you see who tried to kill Kenji? I saw someone bolt right before I screamed. Who? I vote Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's that face you did. You You're looking around said. at everyone. What? Looking, trying to figure out who's... Whoa. What was Eli doing the whole time? Okay. Um, I'm sure Eli was 
Okay, uh, all right. Can we just do another round and get this thing over with, please? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, no way, Mariko. It's way too creepy down there. You guys! You guys! Jesus, Sarah. This game's really getting to you, huh? What the fuck happened? I was just down there in the dark and something really weird was going on. Mariko was acting. Where is she? Mariko! Sarah! It's just the game getting in your head. Yeah. Besides, I think her and Kenji are in the bedroom. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. And I didn't hear any PlayStation when I walked by their room. Not not that I was- That's actually my room, but whatever. Japanese people are always fucking. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Sarah. Don't defend her, Ilsa. She always ditches me to go have sex. Mariko spoke in English. Isn't that great? She probably said something and you didn't understand her. You always take her side. Inconsiderate bitch! <laughs> She's fiery. Okay, look, can we just drink? Uh, this game's not working, and I lost my buzz a long time ago. Come on. We haven't even given it a chance yet. Bring on round three. Yeah. Dwayne. Yeah, maybe we'll actually get somewhere without little Miss Downer and the foreigners. Okay. Okay. One, two, three.
a trick, right? Rumor, are you behind this? Oh god. No. Let it go. It's not a trick. Dwayne, what are you doing? What am I doing? Call 911, you little shits! No cell reception! Call! Do something! Fuck! What is it? All, all three of them? He, he killed all three of them at once. How? All right. All right, move. I got Eli's shovel. Okay, I got a hacksaw, a knife. I got two flashlights. Uh, I got a, a hammer, a hook, and a nail gun. Grab a weapon, we're under attack! I call that nail gun. No. Nail gun's mine, Eli. You brought the damn shovel, take that! I'll trade it for the knife, then! No, no. The knife is Ilsa's. Guys? Just, just barricade every door and stand guard at a window, okay? It's simple. We'll wait till it's light out and we can go down to my car. I saw a sheriff's office like three hours back. Fuck that! Let's go there now! Now? Now, while it's dark out, and a killer's on the loose, and some tools that I found? Fuck that, man! Oh no! Sarah! Sarah's out there! We have to grab her! Hey, guys! What?! Easy! Dwayne, I'm just trying to figure out... Figure out what?! This well, isn't a mystery, asshole! The game is over! The, the window is closed and locked. There's no way the killer could have gotten out that way. Dude. Seriously, who the fuck cares? Just grab a weapon, pick one, and hunker your ass down. But, but that means- No, wait! The killer could still be in the house. Let's find the fucker. Jesus Christ, Rumor. Hey, make sure those windows are shut tight. Maybe those dumb fucks found something.
Run, 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 run. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look. No. Mariko. What happened? Um, I, I think we found where Mariko was killed. Oh. Um, so, so, so he, he didn't kill all three of them at once. The bastard killed Mariko and, and, and dragged her out that door and, and up the ladder to Dominic's room. Why? I don't know, but when he got there, he must have found Kenji, so he strangled him. And then when the killer was hiding the bodies, Dominic must have walked in on him. R right, because um, Dominic had the only key, but, but, but why go through all the trouble of carrying Mariko up there? I don't know. To hide her? Motherfucking Hardy Boys over here. I'm going upstairs, and anybody who wants to live through the night can come with me. End of story. But Dwayne. What I am saying is that someone is playing the game for real with us. Don't care. Eli, grab that end. And they came from the inside, and the window is still locked, which means it's more likely that it's one of us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let me get this straight. You think that one of us just got carried away and started killing people? That's idiotic. And you think what? Some lunatic lives in the woods in the middle of nowhere, waiting for us to play a game called Dead Body, and then sneaks in and starts killing us without anyone seeing them. That's idiotic. And why didn't Dominic, Mariko, or Kenji scream when they saw a total stranger? It has to be I mean, it could have been a, a homeless nut living out here, or, or a... A squatter. It's not us. That's crazy. But the house was spotless. There was no signs of life, no signs of a break-in. Fuck! We have to get out of here. Ilsa. Wait, Ilsa, just hang on. Even if it's one of these guys, we can't all head out into the woods if one of them is a killer. You and I will go alone. Really? And Dwayne. Oh, gee, thanks, hon. Hey, what about the rest of us? Why would we take you? You're the one whose idea it was to play. What's that proof? You guys, it's so obviously Dwayne. He's... Dwayne, oh, yeah, son of a here. bitch. Marcus. Are you guys seeing this? You're blaming us? I ought to put a nail in your head. Don't let me do it. Uh, right? uh, let him go. Uh, put the nail gun down. Uh, Son of a bitch. <sighs> Guys, we have to calm down. Even if one of us is the killer, it can't possibly take all of us at once. So let's just talk. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about this. You were stalking Mariko. What the hell? Give me back my journal! Uh, let's see. I followed Mariko to the Egyptian theater that day. When she came out of the movie, she was so alive, so full of spirit. It wrenched my heart open to see Kenji walk out after her. Rumor? Yes, okay. I had feelings for her. But, but then why would I do this? It must have killed you to watch them constantly go off to fuck. Yeah, you couldn't take it anymore. So you snuck in while they were fucking and killed them both. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, maybe, except Dominic saw you too, right? And you killed him. That's why you told Sarah to stay out of Kenji and Marco's room. You said they were fucking, but you didn't want her to see. That proves nothing. Put your personal feelings away and think, who could have done this? It's simple. If it was one of us, it's most likely it wasn't someone we knew our entire lives, which means Dwayne or...
Somebody there? Creepy. I saw her go downstairs with Mariko. That's right, she did. She killed her in cold blood. And then she came up to pretend she was angry and she stormed off. Then she came back to stash their bodies. Bodies? But how did she get back outside? The windows are locked and shut from the inside. Maybe she slipped out while Elsa was hiding in the bedroom. She locked the door from the inside, closed it behind her, done. So obvious. Jesus, you guys are getting way too into this game. I have a real problem. Yeah, you sure do. Don't worry, Sarah. We just have questions. Don't. You guys are scaring me. Stop! What the stop? No, guys! Guys, knock it off! Asshole! Get her off! Put her in the bedroom! <laughs> With the bodies? Guys, no! You can't put her in there! What the hell? Put me down! Put me Stop! It's not funny! Put me down! Oh my god! It's not real! What's happening, Elsa? What's happening? No! No! Stop it! What the fuck, Eli? Stop it! Good. Oh my god, no! No, don't leave me in here! Right, you can't just lock her in there. Let her out. No, no, this is a life or death situation. If she's a threat, she needs to be dealt with. I think it's for the best, guys. She'll be fine while we hash things out. No, no, get the fuck back. I mean it. <laughs> Rumor, give up that hacksaw. Eli, get the hacksaw. Give it up. Man. Why the violence? Seriously, let's discuss. All right. In the living room. Move. What if she's innocent? What if she's not? Five minutes. They have to shoot me for now. Go. She'll be fine, okay? Okay, l l let's just figure this out. All right, in round two, she went downstairs with Mariko, period. All right, and if Mariko died down there, which she did, it's a little funny that nothing was mentioned, don't you think? Exactly. Rumor, are you buying any of this? I hate to say it, but Dwayne's right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rumor, of all people. Uh, do we forget? how pissed off she was about them having sex. Okay, well, she got so mad that she killed Mariko, all, all right? She goes outside for a walk and, and drags the body to the bedroom, sees Kenji and kills him too. Then Dominic comes in, cause he's the only one with the key and she killed him too, no witnesses. No, that's crazy. And Sarah, why would she do that? Why would she kill three people? And just five minutes ago, you thought it was rumor. That was before we knew she was sulking around out there. In the perfect position to do this. I mean, what do we really know about her? She did go to juvie for pulling a knife on another kid. She used to cut herself, like, pretty deep. And she does have these moods. But I know Sarah. Besides, Dwayne, you've been to juvie too. Wait, for what? Eli, you're always whacked out on drugs. Plus, Eli, you said that the knife in Monaco was an oyster shucker. How did you know that? Guys, knock it off. And rumor, you've always had weird tendencies. Everyone used to say you lost your finger in a knife fight. I lost it in a car accident. And while we're at it, Ilsa, how did you get in the bedroom with no key? Hey, watch it, rumor. I used my credit card. Okay. 
Fair enough. Sarah is our prime suspect, but it could be any of us. So why are we putting her through this hell? Exactly. If we're wrong, she doesn't deserve to be locked up in a room with bodies. Baby, she made bodies of those people. Of your friends, okay? You're right. We should move her. Maybe we could find a door that locks from the outside. Let's check the basement. I saw a supply closet down there. Fine. Fine, but we're tying her up. I'm gonna go find some rope. I'll give you a hand. Ilsa? Don't let her out, okay? Not yet. Just in case. Eli. Umer, no. I should have known. No, 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 no. I, I found him like this. You guys got it all wrong. I, I picked up the hacksaw for protection in case the killer was still here. No, 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 no there's no proof. Think about it. There's motive, jealousy. We all know you were obsessed with Mariko. And you brought up the game. You were the one who told us not to go into the bedroom because Kenji and Mariko were fucking. And you had the hacksaw earlier. You've always been off. You brought that knife to seventh grade. No, no, that, that was Dominic's. I just got caught with it when he showed it to me. Marcus, tell them. Look, Rumor, we don't want to hurt you. We just want to talk. Come on. Marcus! It's, it's me! It, it's us! Just come inside, Rumor. Guys, guys, okay, come on. This is crazy! Dwayne's the Neanderthal! He's the one with a record! Dwayne, what the hell? Get off! Dwayne, don't hurt him! Marcus, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. 
the two of us can trust each other and that's about it. Okay, so let's get the gear and the flashlights and run to the vans as fast as we can. The rumor's out there. I know, I, I know, I know. It doesn't make sense. Rumor is not a killer. He is not a killer. Dwayne? I don't know. I, but I've known Rumor my entire life. And I let him run off into the woods alone. Fuck the oh Rumor! Fuck it! Wait! Marcus? Dwayne? Rumor? Elsa, is that you? Are you okay? He attacked me. He came after me. Who was it? I don't know. I couldn't see him. No! No! Please don't leave me again, please. No, no, no. no, no I'll stay right here. Okay. Let's just get back inside. No, listen, Marcus. You were right. Only we two can trust each other. Let's just get to the car and get out of here. What happened? Did you? I lost him. Good, because he's not the killer. Who is then? Whoever it was, he just came after me. Sarah! I'm letting her out. Thank God you didn't find him. Oh, 
she must have found the key. Maybe Mariko had it. It was Zira. Fuck it, let's get to the car. each other's backs, okay? And kill anything that isn't us. We have to find rumor before the killer does. Come on. I'm so sorry. Supposed to save him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck it. We're almost there. Let's go. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. I never thought I'd be so happy to see my mom's van. Stop. Somebody broke in. Yes, you can't get it started. Just get out of there, let me try. Margo and Kenji, oh my god. I hit him. Who? The killer. I found a branch, pulled it back, and hit him in the face with it. Dwayne. 
You didn't find Rumor out in the woods, did you? No, I already told you that. God damn, she fucked this up! Those scratches on your face, how did you get those? Trees and shit, man. What do you think? What? What? Oh, you don't believe me all of a sudden? Is that it? Yeah, I see that. You guys make quite the couple, don't you? Dwayne, we're just trying to figure this out. Yeah. I mean, why were you so against us looking for clues earlier? You just wanted to barricade the house so no one could get in... ...or out. How could Rumor or Sarah have carried Mariko up to the second floor? Oh, nice! Nice! Yeah, yeah, this is what you wanted from the beginning, isn't it, right? Right, you two are in on this shit together, aren't you? Aren't you? Sarah was about to tell us who the killer was and you shot her in her fucking face. Are you fucking serious right now? Are you serious, guys? She was a fucking lunatic! This is crazy! We won! We made it! <laughs> My God! Oh, we we're almost out of here. What? What do you mean we won? What do you mean we won? Crazy, but Dwayne is gone. We can get out of here. Hey, 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 relax. It's me. It's me. It's us. Start the car. Eli's car's parked like half a mile down the road. Dom's is too, I think. Oh, 
to do was to kill Kenji, Mariko, and you, clearing the way for me to move from number three on the waitlist straight into Harvard. I was going to wait until you all just fell asleep and then kill you quietly. My dad even gave me an ex-convict to pin everything on. I had him tied up to this tree until Sarah found him. I had everything planned, but you, you couldn't go one weekend without being the center of attention. You needed your love triangles and your high school bullshit. So you invited all the shit birds with you and you almost fucked everything up. But 
Then we started to play dead body. <laughs> and I couldn't resist. I had to kill you three right under their noses. As the late rumor would say, I wanted to play the game for real. I waited till round two, where I strangled Kenji. Then I locked the door, went out the window, down the ladder, into the basement, where I stabbed Mariko. Oh my god, my heart was just... Was like, a, like a little hummingbird. I was certain that you knew exactly what I'd done. But of course you didn't. How is any of this my fault? Because of what happened next. So I wrapped our little Japanese flower in a tarp, slung her over my shoulder, up the ladder through the window, and plopped her on the bed with her beloved Kenji. I was just about to clean myself up when you came in. I was fucked. I didn't know what to do, so I just smeared some of Mariko's blood on my neck. After you saw me with the bodies, I... I had no choice. I had to kill everybody. <laughs> but how? I was trapped! I was stuck playing dead with Kenji and Mariko, the Tokyo Twins! And then... Rumor... of all people... <laughs> saved me. He threw the sheet over me, remember? Oh my god. I almost laughed out loud. Don't be a sore loser, sweet pea. You haven't heard the whole story. From there, covered by a blanket, it was a piece of cake. A couple of strategically placed pillows, and voila, like I never even left. I think right about that time, you locked Sarah up in the bedroom. <laughs> and then you just started killing each other. And it was, Ilsa, it was beautiful. I mean, <laughs> Dwayne killed Sarah, you killed Dwayne, and just now, you ran away from Marcus? All he had to do, all he had to do was shift into drive and step on the gas, and you'd be home free. And you fucker couldn't figure any of it out. You locked up the one person who could solve the mystery, and you're the one getting into Harvard! How fucking dare you! Fucking murder! I won!
Logan. That's not fair, Ilsa. That thing's not accurate anyway. Face it. It's over. Die, you piece of shit! Bitch! It didn't have to be this way! Harvard! That's what this is about! You fucker! That's what it was all about, but not anymore! Now it's all about being the best! The winner! Yeah, 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 okay, okay.